Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen Majone, and today we're going to talk a little more about how the fear of death comes up in the process of transformation. We started talking about it um, a couple days ago, and we talked about how as the old self dies, as the ego begins to crumble and lose its power, um, there's a part of us that is actually dying. And it feels very much like a death process. And so it can bring up these really deep, deep fears of death in many forms. And it can make us um, really feel stuck and scared and not really wanting to move forward in this process. And so today I want to go into that a little deeper and into, you know, what it is that we're really afraid of, you know, as the um, old self, the self that we were very familiar with um, begins to fade away as we start to see that what we thought was known and what we thought was real and what we thought was true is actually not real and not known and is an illusion. And, you know, as we start to have these realizations that the world and who we are is so much bigger than what we thought it was, and not just that, but that what we thought it was is actually built on a, a lot of lies and limiting beliefs, then we have to start to ask, well, then what is real? What is true? And, um, you know, it, we don't really get any answers because there's not a handbook. There's not, you know, we can't Google it. And, you know, no one can tell you what it is because it's, it's the way that each one of us experiences it is a little bit different. And it's something that can't be put into words. And so, you know, as these fears come up and as the old parts of ourselves are falling away, you know, the, the really deep fear below all of it, you know, that is, that is in the middle of that fear of death is really the fear of the unknown, that we don't know what happens after we die. We don't know what happens when we let go of the old self, when we let go of everything that was comfortable to us, everything that we thought was real and true. We, we just don't know. And so that is what the big fear is. It's the fear of the unknown. As you know, what we thought was known drops away and we realize we don't know anything. And, and so then we start to become really fearful of, you know, what if, if we give ourselves to this process, if we really let this transformation happen, we really don't know what's going to happen. Because if we know, if we knew all the answers, we wouldn't go through the process. We wouldn't go through the healing. We wouldn't go through the stripping away of the illusions and the wounding and the traumas and the limiting beliefs. We would already know the answer so we wouldn't have that motivation to keep moving forward. And so, you know, as these fears come up, we have to open up to the fact that what we're opening up is the great is to the great mysteries of the universe, the great mysteries of who we are and how we are connected to all things in this universe. We're opening up to things that our mind has a hard time wrapping itself around, that we can't really put a description to. And that can be um, really challenging, especially when we have lived our lives and most humans live, live their lives, you know, wanting answers, wanting to keep everything neat and predictable and safe. And as you know, the old known falls away, we realize that there's nothing about this process that is predictable and safe. And it brings up a whole lot of fears around where are we going with this? You know, why are we doing this? What is the point? Am I going to just um, completely obliterate and, you know, <laughs> and fade away? You know, because that's really what it can feel like at times. And so, you know, really recognizing that it's the fear of the unknown, but it's also the curiosity of the unknown that's moving you forward, that is propelling you forward. So it's one of those paradoxes that, you know, 
our great motivation often is to understand this great mystery, to have some sort of understanding. But then when we face it, when we realize that we really don't know what that is, then the fear comes up and we have to, we have to just um, surrender to that fear and know that our curiosity and our desire to connect with that deeper part of ourselves and to have that deeper understanding and to let go of the fear and the pain and the trauma and the wounding so that we can really connect deeply with who we are, that that motivation is deeper than the fear. And so we use that to face the fears. We use that to make to move forward. We use that curiosity and desire uh, to um, do the work. And, um, you know, we realize that, that it is so much bigger than the fears and that the fears are just thoughts that aren't based on truth. And so we continue to move forward. We open to the mysteries without having to make up a story, having to try to figure out with our minds. And when we do that, then the whole world opens up for us and our healing multiplies, our, our peace and our joy multiplies. And um, we, we really make a huge impact on our personal lives and on the planet. So if you're feeling those, those fears, you know, tap into it, check into it, see if it is that fear of the unknown, that fear of, you know, what is going to happen if I really surrender to this process and give up, you know, everything that I thought was true and solid in my life and just check into that. Is it the fear of the unknown? And if so, then check in with your original motivation. Is it that curiosity and that desire to connect with the divine and and so from there you can find the motivation to move forward so i'm sending so much love to all of you that are going through this process and through these fears right now and if what i share with you resonates with you and you want some help walking through these fears then please private message me and we can talk and see if the work that i do with my clients would be a good fit for you so again sending you all so much love if you have any questions please um, leave them here in the comments and i'll see you all in the facebook group